All right, it's one of those days, so recording number five or six or something. But anyway, I'm going to recap what I was saying. Maybe I'll only upload this one. I don't know. So this is the music thingy. Uh, this is my work happening. You know, here's the fish I keep telling you all about. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at them all mobbing at the back of the tank. That's mobbing, by the way. Schooling, schooling, get it? Schooling, mobbing, flocking. It's all the same thing. Anyway, they're all at the back. I don't, I don't, I don't know what their deal is. That's what they're doing. So, um, I think I got a pretty good sight line if I set this right here. Yeah, that should be good. I think that should be just right. Oh, so I don't know how long I'm going to talk. Let's give this a go. I'm going to turn this fucking thing off. Because the phone does not filter that sound up. Alright, so... So I'll call it a few things. I'm, I'm going to recap a little bit. Um, basically, I'm not new with this politics thing. The, the stuff I, t I try not to get into people's business and at the same point, like, I'm watching the world. Uh, I'm watching violence explode in ways that are preventable. Now, I'm not opposed to violence. Don't get me wrong. I don't know where I got, people got the idea I'm non-violent. I, I really don't, because I've been charged with assault more times than I can count. Never can, like, I don't know what the fucking deal is. It's in, in Toronto, in Canada, I don't know what it is for the whole, I think for the whole uh, country. If the police even hear a rumor that you touch someone, like, even, like, th that's a, that's an assault. If you yell at someone, they call, oh, that's a verbal assault. Like, you, you have no idea the extent they'll go to just make something into an assault. Uh, I'm not kidding, words, you can get charged with assault for what you say. I don't mean threat, I don't mean like, I'm gonna hit you, and then they hit that, yeah, I don't mean, I'm gonna kill you, no, it's like, fuck you, is a verbal assault, the fuck, so anyway, I'm not, I'm not really new to all this, um, when it comes to politics and uh, music, don't mix the two, I'm walking a fine line, I'm gonna get to why I can do that in a second, well, I've, I've been saying it, but maybe I put two or two together, uh, I would encourage you to go look at the other videos that I put up because my message is on you. If you give a fuck at all, look, look through them. I know there's a lot to go through, but if you go through them, you'll find what I'm, you'll, you'll find more more of the same. Different words, same message. Uh, really not that different from the KKK, in that sense. No, I won't join the KKK, and no, I'm not uh, anti -sim. What the fuck is a semi? Like, I don't know. Like, I've got, I got people trying to harass me into a hate group, and i got people accusing me of being in a hate group. And it's like, I'm a fucking Indian. I'm a mutt. i got black people in my fucking heritage, so what fucking hate group are you going to let me into? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're fucking retarded. Uh, it is one of those things, I can't prove it, but once i seen the Grand Dragon getting like, oh, you have 16% black people DNA. It's like, well, I don't need a DNA test. Um, I am certain now, this may sound rude, but if I drink the lager, you see this, the, the these right here, the 7.1% friggin' ice beer, 40s, or if I drink uh, the wrong, you know, I start craving uh, fried chicken and white grass. I don't care what you say, you, know. you can call me racist and ignorant for saying, I'm saying it about my fucking self, so, you know, I'm not really into white grass, you know. so I, I don't know, you do read into that what you want. Uh, this this whole video here probably doesn't really have anything to do with hip hop per se, except that hip hop's pretty inclusive. So if you're if you're on a hip hop tip, you can check this out. But it, this may not be pleasant stuff I'm saying. So I've always been political, not worried about being captain of this shit. I could be in a wheelchair in two years, to put it very bluntly. Uh, not for not for I'm gonna say something about shooting. I'll be the rich no, no, no. I have this pain condition in my face. I have more answers than anybody else does. For me, not for anybody else. Uh, but for my pain, I'm the only one that has answers. So I've looked, I've looked. I think the biggest answer I got is what it's called. It's a recognized condition, suicide disease, trigeminal neuralgia, father deal syndrome, and a few other names. Uh, it's called suicide disease because one out of two people, that's half, 
half of the people that get this within the first two years will commit suicide. It's not a joke. And if you can find more accurate statistics than what I just gave you, I'd love to hear it, but they don't uh, usually keep track of those things. They're doing it especially for us because of the high rate, the high rate. If you study the disease, you have access to the medical records, and apparently enough of the medical records, the doctor in charge must have known that the person died by committing suicide. And you don't always get these notices and things. But, so it could be even higher. And it could be, I honestly couldn't tell you if it's, a, if it's an accurate number at all, but that's what uh, some very high-ranking people are saying. You know, what this means is it feels like I'm being hit in the face with a shovel sometimes. So you can't, you can't hurt me. But you could physically, like, damage my body. Really. Like, you could even make me make those noises, like, oh, uh, it hurts, uh, you know, that's what happens when, you, when your body's in pain. But... You ain't gonna feel like, by the time I get my next episode, I'm not even gonna remember what you fucking did. You know what I mean? So, as for like, oh, you'll go to jail and get raped. First of all, Canada, I don't know, we're more gangster than that. I ain't saying it don't happen, but uh, we all about money. Uh, and it's not like we're the whole, we wouldn't talk, but no, a lot to do. Like, I've been sexually abused. I've been raped. I just wasn't in jail. I was a little kid. You know what I mean? So. It's not like you could hurt me that way. I know you people think that that's like the worst punishment. I know because the cops keep threatening me. We're going to put you in jail with black guys. You know what happens to white guys when they're in jail? I have no fucking idea. I, I literally tell them I wouldn't know. I can tell them eight different ways that I'm an Indian. They still call me white. They'll make racist, they'll make extremely prejudiced actions toward assaults, verbal assaults towards, uh, in this case, it was black people when I was standing there. And when I responded, and when I countered with him, you know, he, uh, he, he, he was surprised, like, well, what do you care, you're white? Like, no, nigga, you, you don't know who the fuck you're talking to. I didn't say, well, I don't think I said one word to him after that, but that was the closest I ever came to punching a cop. So, and I don't mean, oh, I feel it's different, no, I, you know, I almost clocked this dude, cop or no cop. You know why? Because they wouldn't have shot me. And one of my nigger friends fucking stands up and says, Fuck you, they're getting shot. I slug a cop, they ain't gonna fucking shoot me. They ain't even gonna fucking taser me. They're gonna fucking manhandle me and show up that they're the tougher guy because they see me as a racial equal. Fuck you, they ain't no racial equal. I'm, I'm superior to you because I got better DNA. Fact, science. Not, I think I'm better than you. I'm superior in a genetic sense. My DNA is fought off. Uh, tuberculosis, hepatitis. I'm pretty sure I was exposed to HIV, but this bitch, I don't know, this bitch is squeezy. Uh, just don't ask me. Fucking. Okay. I ain't saying I got all these things. I'm saying I should have, and I don't. The fucking H1N1, H5N1, and H7N9. And they'll tell you that that one doesn't even exist in this country. I can tell you bullshit, because we have illegal immigration. Okay, so you can say whatever you want. These people are here. So it doesn't matter whether you admit they're here. <laughs> but there's nothing you can do about it. You just get better DNA, which you can't do. So. Or you'll, you'll try to, you'll try to buy better DNA, uh, but you won't smoke for anything. The marijuana has been proven to regenerate DNA and re regenerate, it promotes the growth of neurons, that's brain cells. Remember that. The only thing in the world that grows brain cells so far that they've proven is cannabis. I mean, there's other things, I'm sure there's other things that, that, that contribute, but they've been saying for uh, since the 60s or so, that your brain is always dying and your brain cells are just dying all the time and that's normal. And then they tried to say weed causes more problems and they couldn't prove that. They were never able to prove that. They proved the opposite. They proved it makes you a better driver, it cures cancer. Uh, I can tell you that it gets me through some insane stuff. So, you know, all these people talking about, well, people shouldn't be getting intoxicated off of it. Why? Why not? CBD is not a medicine. THC is a medicine. CBD is not a medicine. Don't do anything. That's why your kids still have seizures. Marijuana smoke will not hurt them. Neither will the food or whatever, but I'm telling you, you think that you have to just feed it to them all the time. You feed it to me and I'll get fucking irate. I get fucking so, my nervous system goes out of whack and I will get fucking insanely violent. I'm not even joking. I have cannabis. Because if I eat it, I don't know why, that's what happens. It's happening. 
uh, it's happened enough times that I don't do it anymore. You know what I mean? So, well, I can smoke it all day. Don't tell me what the deal is on that. And I'm not the only person that happens to. So I don't know why. I don't have an explanation. Please don't tell me I'm full of shit. Because I can't prove it. I'll have to prove it to you. You want me to have a video of me, like, punching a hole in the wall because I ate a brownie? Like, that's not how shit is supposed to go. I don't even remember what I did. Like, I did something. So, when I talk about, when I talk about uh, Indian gangs and gangs in general and violence in Canada and then hip-hop and rap, so it all comes together. I'm not talking on my ass like I go, I don't know. I'm trying to respectfully bring the subject up because it has to be. And if you think I'm stepping out of line, check out uh, Hood to Hood, the documentary. Check out streetgangs.com. Uh, people are already saying things, so I'm going to try and spit the truth. And if you shoot at me for spitting the truth, God bless you. Because maybe if you hit me right here and here, I figure, uh, I mean, there's no, I have no scientific basis, but I, I figure if you, if you were to like hit me like right here, I think the pain would stop. Right there. You know what I mean? I see a lot of people I did it, like self-identify and making clear I'm not a gangster. Like, and some people, I don't live a crime life at all. And some people are like, uh, I deal drugs, but I'm not a gangster. And, you know, and some people are gang members that don't deal drugs. It's like straight good, see what happens. Some people are like, uh, you know, working some legit job as part of a music production label or whatever thing they got going on. You know? I'm not speaking on my I'm trying to bring up things that need to be brought up. Uh, I've been connected to every political activist group in this country at one point or another. Whether, whether they'll admit to it or not, because some of them might not realize it, whatever, it's been a long time. Or they might just be assholes, and some of them are. Uh, and a lot of this, see, I don't have to explain this to the Indians. And, and, and I, I say Indian, first, whatever. I think I've explained why I don't like those other words. Natives too vague. Because you could say that you're a native of somewhere if you were born here, and that's not what we're talking about. You're a native people. You might be a native person, but you are not a, a, of native people, is the difference, right? But then we get into this mix where there's no white people here. Everyone's mixed, but you can deny it all you want. The grand dragon of the KKK is black. The president is black. Hello? The president and the grand dragon are both black. Look at the country we live in. But I'm mob and gay confederacy. It's a big mob. I'm a police warrior society person, but I, I, I'm isolated. I talked to this sultan. Who's, who's got run in my life a lot? You know what I mean? I believe this is the second plant created game. So that's the way I think of it. I don't know if there's an actual story already about something like that. Uh, I know the Lakota have been growing it for 10, 20,000 years to find fossilized seeds. Or fossilized leaves, or whatever the fuck it was, they said they found. There's at least 18 feral varieties identified by the government. The science, but not the police, by the universities and uh, agricultural people going here. Uh, uh, I might have to go shortly, but not yet. So this is, the, I smoke this to, see, to deal with the stress. This does not kill my pain for the suicide disease. It may be numbing it a little, I guess, but it doesn't touch. We use the word touch. It doesn't touch the pain. Uh, we, we use a lot of words you would maybe, if you, if, you, if you read us trying to describe what we're going through, you'd probably pick up what we mean, but this doesn't touch my pain. Codeine don't do nothing, fucking Tylenol, aspirin, all that shit don't do nothing. Uh, I found naproxen by fluke. It works, so the over the counter doesn't work because it's got saccharin and additives. But the prescription does not, so. And it's not a salt of either. The, the over the counter is sodium. 
right now I take uh, 500 milligrams of that, sometimes a thousand. I'm coming up, I'm, I, I'm not taking a thousand yet, I just, I hate, I take 500 and it still hurts. So, once a week going faster, so, uh, soon I'll be taking more than a gram, and it'll be happening every day. And, uh, well, I'm going to say what i got to say now, because there's going to come days where I won't be able to freestyle, I won't be, I'm, I, 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 I'm almost in tears right now, like, I gotta find, I seriously got to find a girl that will take care of me. You know, I can do everything I need to do almost every day of my life, and then for a few hours, it's crippling. It's absolutely crippling. So if you want to, is somebody out there going to take offense? I don't think it's going to be the real gangsters take offense, because then the dudes have got enough time to watch the whole video. Okay, so some middle dude, some middle dude will say, yo, this dude talking about this and this, uh, you should watch it. They might have the time to watch it. It's most pieces that fucking see two seconds and go off, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. No, when I go off, I'm serious, man, because, because well, I just laid out all the reasons, some of the reasons. I don't know why I'm like, I'm wearing dead man shoes, converse weapons, man, we're in light. My own boy was crippin' hard, but you got, you got done in by a drug, you can believe that? A drug and a hole, done in. Too much, it's fucked him up. Details don't matter. So. Alright, the story, like, you see them all beat up, there's a story, there's two stories. His mom did not want to give him somebody that would sell them trading for drugs, basically. Um, and they fit me. I got huge feet. These are 13s. I think, you yeah, know, 13s of drugs or something. 12 or 13. I'm pretty sure they're 13s. Uh, so I didn't realize, I kind of didn't put two or two together. I didn't wear them right away. But uh, understanding all that, basically, to me, it's like I got his, his, his shoes are still hitting the streets. Still keeping a little piece of mind here, so I don't feel like. And I've had to fight and stay eternally or some things and resolve some things. And you think, oh, I'm wearing dead man's shoes. No, I mean, there's a positive way to see this. I, mean, I can go buy shoes, I'm going to, but I'm going to wear the fuck out of these to where they're worn out. I'm going to be bummy and ghetto. I ain't, I ain't afraid of much. Like, the most you can do is startle me, which is like, uh, Maybe you appear suddenly, or like I'm walking in, in front of me. I don't know. But, and I'll step around a bit. Like I don't even think like, you can't really get up. Oh my God, what are you gonna do? So you can email me. Not that anybody is lately. Just you say whatever you want. Uh, I know I keep saying I'm gonna hook up a, a download server for you all, and I ain't done it yet. I'm gonna put these out so people can just download them to their iPod or whatever. Fuck you, people. I don't care what you think of me. You can get all pissy all you want. I don't give a fuck. You think there's all trouble? I'm gonna tell you, this comes from the, when the people that I say uh, I ally with as opposed to against. This all comes from it. So it's all money to all of us. But I do not do business in any way that will benefit the other side. So you take that out you want it. You got the whole thing unlocked. You don't get it. We're not a gang up here. We're not. I mean, people try to make it, oh, we want to be the biggest. And they're why? That was what fucks over. Every fucking organization. I want to be the big. Watch your neighbor looks bad. Don't worry about it. I'm not coming over to your neighborhood. You, you ain't coming over to mine. Why are you trying to get bigger? You know I mean? Anyway, Ryan, I don't, I don't, like, there's, I don't know nobody within, like, oh, oh, the, the significant distance of here that's even has weed. It's all raw. Anybody with weed doesn't want to deal with anybody because there's so many police. Because there's so much raw. So we just sit in our houses and smoke weed and we don't harass anybody. Yeah, don't kid yourself. Some of these houses, you do not want them kicking the door in. You don't even want to knock the wrong way. Like, I ain't revealing nothing you don't want, man, if you pay attention. But niggas will shoot through the fucking door and it ain't gonna be one shot. Oh my god. I mean, out. They'll shoot outwards. <laughs> you don't. I, I see I see every so often there's a bunch of home invasions. 
And uh, lately, uh, this is something people don't talk about. There's a lot of home invasions that are also uh, sexual assaults. You know, robbery, home invasion, sexual assault, which is a rape. They don't use that word anymore. Uh, like rapeseed oil, they don't call it that anymore. They call it canola oil. Uh, or lince, lince, or whatever the fuck it is. Rapeseed oil. You look it up. Home invasions are dummy crimes. I'm not, if you've got some personal thing going on, stuff what I'm talking about. Or you randomly picking houses, you're not going to pick the right house. It doesn't happen. This this city has the best alarm companies that you'll, you'll find anywhere. Like, people will be watching on their cell phone lives. You're coming in the front door, they're going to run out the back looking, watching you on the cell phone as they're hitting the alarm button. Like, it's not, it's not cool. And a lot of people have guns here. Don't kid yourself. Legal and otherwise, you know, registered and otherwise. You do that however you want. I don't personally need him. You know, like, you can say, oh, he's just saying that. We want to search more. You know, you've arrested me so many times, I've lost count. But you ain't never found a gun on me. You ain't never had no weapons charge. You've tried to fucking nail me for these, and you can't, because I don't have any connections. <laughs> Believe what you want. But there were guns in my life. Like, don't kid yourself. Rifles, hunting rifles, and BB guns, and all that shit. So, like, it's not like it's not part of my culture. This is where it gets fucked up. People act like uh, I am what they think I am, and that's all there is to it. Like, you don't know who you're looking at. Uh, the person could have just stepped off the plane from anywhere in the world. They might not give a fuck about taking their life. They might be the nicest person in the world, but you don't know who they are. So, you presume to know, uh, don't do that. And as for style, we don't copy nobody's style. Dude. We don't copy no. Every little fucking community online say, oh, they copy us here. No, they don't. It's you copying us trying to play it the other way around. We'll adopt stuff, but we're not copying. Okay. The Russian people came here and used Russian slang. That's why we use Russian slang. We didn't hear it on the internet, but we didn't use it. The Russian people came here, used the slang. They were part of our ghetto life here. So we used their slang too because it fits. And they use our slang. And for all I know, maybe someone will go back to Russia and use the same slang. I really don't know. I imagine it must happen. Or they talk to their brother on the chat and it gets used. Like, this is, there's no copying going on up here. Original. When we say original gangsters, we mean we're not copying nobody. Fucking... Like, um, when we try to be Bloods and Crips, no. We have Bloods and Crips. They have other shit too, you know. Like, it's all, it's, the, most of this has been in the newspapers and shit so many times. The media up here likes to take their stories down after a certain amount of time and only put up new stuff, so you might not find it. Here. You think we got, well, our homicide rate was like 88, 89, 90, in the late 80s, and it's dropped to about once a week, which is about 52. Almost, almost exactly, I think it was 53 last year, and it was 52 point something weeks. So, do you think we're fucking getting stupid or violent? That's not happening either. Um, you're gonna have beefs all the time. This this Asian turf war to the gang war thing, that ain't based in Toronto. That's that's their business. We no one we are not getting involved. You know, the police are chasing their tails on the word. Fuck, it's like no offense. I don't want to see. You. Oh, look, the Asians are all killing each other. That's not what I'm. That's not the deal. But yeah, I know how it goes. You guys got things going on. We gotta do it. Well, I ain't asking y'all to be for the Indian girls. These guys claim to be, I say they're not Indian at all, personally. That's my first beef. I don't say they're Indian, I think they're not Indians at all. The fucking, uh, that's my first fucking, that's my biggest beef with these people. Change your fucking name, first of all. Uh, <coughs> well, I'm not expecting some other crew to jump in and be like, yeah, 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 we're gonna back up this Indian gang. It's no, 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 we're all gonna handle our shit internally. And you could say, since I'm not jumped into a specific gang, it's not my business. But no, I'm an Indian. This affects me. You know, I'm in this underworld. I don't have a choice. The police have shoved me into this asshole book, into this box, where I'm going to get treated this way anyway. I have to help regulate this, or this is going to fucking blow up in my face anyway. I'm going to get killed anyway. I'm going to die in the streets from something stupid anyway. Like, I, I'm not worried about it. I'm rich, so. If you hate me, just buy your time. I'll say something stupid to somebody one day. Don't worry. But like, I, just, I don't care. I wouldn't say I'm suicidal, but I might be in a wheelchair in five years. 
And if I do and I'm still, I'm going to put like gold rings or some hundred spike rings or something. Like that. It'll be these tendies or something. Just something nice, just to, you know, pimp it out. But because it don't mean my dick ain't gonna work. It just means I ain't gonna be able to control it. And we still gonna be up like this. Where I, it's not my fault, honey. You know. We roll it through the drive through at three in the morning. Yeah. The thing hanging out. I don't give a fuck, you know. Uh oh, but it's not. It's but it's, it's uh, yo. I started off saying this Asian dirt four thing, and it's, it's uh, yo. It's not my business to speak too much on it. But I'm just telling y'all, it ain't gonna be. You're not. You're. We're, everybody else is gonna stay out of it. It's ain't our business, and uh, you know, everybody's gonna take up the sides that they're gonna. And uh, you're not going to solve most of these homicides. And not all these niggas is going to get killed. Dude, people are just move. You know, people will up and move. And things are cool out again. And this ain't right in my hood. This is happening in other places. But I've seen, I've seen, I've seen fucking some souped up little rice burner pull up on the sidewalk. Kung Fu movie shit. These niggas is going at it. And then they jump back in the car. Vroom. These niggas don't fuck around. That was like year, a few years ago. So I ain't telling you nothing you might not heard of. I ain't even gonna get too specific on it. I mean, so much violent crime happens there. When she, when you, you would put, yeah. I'm just saying they handle their business. But they ain't never tried rolling on me for nothing, so I, I gotta assume this is some internal thing, you know? This ain't some you're gonna pick on everybody thing. If everybody just stays cool and just, and just minds our own business, well, I'll be alright. This is tea dot. We'll be chill. We mostly just want to smoke weed and count money. You know, costumes are gonna be costumes, you can't stop. Hoes gonna be hoes, ratchets gonna be, you cannot stop. And we've accepted that here. Uh, a few other places they accepted it, but they, they didn't hit all the levels. We're trying to hit the right levels here. I'm trying to learn from like Detroit and LA and we're trying to learn uh, Vancouver, uh, Halifax, we're trying to learn Montreal, Edmonton, Manitoba, we're trying to learn so that we can have some, a center. And this bullshit about, yo, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not claiming to be a gang expert, okay, but this nigga will come on the TV, I'm a gang, the, 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 over, the voiceover says, uh, the over voice, the voiceover, the fucking, this is a gang, a gang expert that owns all this blah 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 The nigga talk about how there's some rule that we all have about not shooting at each other downtown. Since when? Nigga, people get shot downtown all the time. All the time. It, it's not like, it's, it's not like if you're a tourist you're going to randomly get shot. That ain't, the statistics are highly against that. You're actually safer downtown because there's so many fucking people, statistically. I mean, that eats, every time I say something good about Toronto, somebody shoots in a fucked up way, so I shouldn't say much. I was telling somebody about Toronto's a nice place to visit the next day, 23, that's an hour later, but the next one, oh god, 23 people shot. After that, I'm trying to talk some niceness about Toronto, fucking people open fire in the Eaton Center. That happens. But it ain't calm, I don't know, I wouldn't hang around the Eaton Center anyway, it's not where I would tell tourists to go. We try to keep it chill here, man. Basically, yo, I'll tell you what happened to Jane Kriba. She ran across the street into a gunfight. Who the fuck does that? They don't want to tell you she did that. If you read through all the notes and witness statements, you will find that she ran. Jane walked across Young Street. She ran and into the gunfight. The fuck is that shit? Why was she running towards a gunfight? What the fuck's wrong with this bitch? Like, yo, there was uh, half a dozen or a dozen people shooting at each other, and they got like one or three people and said, Oh, you killed her, you murdered her. I gotta tell y'all, a fair trial would have said that was all self defense. And the bitch ran into the gunshots. Like, what the fuck? Right, I mean, but yo, just to make it clear, these niggas didn't care who was standing around either. Like, five people got hit. It was, it was, I think it was six people got hit, five did not die, so one of the six got hit fatally, and she's the one that ran into the middle. Um, everybody else just standing there. So it tells you who they were aiming at. Um, 
And of course, they're all running at the same time. Away. You're not going to run to war. You're... It's a gunfight. Shut up. I've seen people fist fight over guns. Just think about that. That's how we reluctant we are to get the police involved. Now, I don't want you dead. I think you might kill me, but if I, if I can fucking hit you hard enough to make you drop, I'm gonna just run. That's how we do here, man. Right? Uh, and, and the only problems that will come from people snitching or talking too much. And jealousy. Jealousy. And I'll classify crackers, and then when a cracker gets too fucked up and twisted trying to make money, uh, when they're trying to rob somebody in the game as opposed to a regular person, yeah, that person is fucked up on drugs and shit. But Joe, uh, I gotta go take care of some things. I think my computer almost done processing this thing up here. I don't know if I covered enough shit for y'all. I try, you know what I mean? But I smoked a couple joints with y'all. I didn't drink a beer with you just now, but I did drink one with y'all earlier. Alright, 32 minutes, eh? Yeah, okay, so I guess I'll, uh... What the fuck is that? Tobacco and shit. <laughs> what the hell? How's this getting such a nice, clean shot? So, like... I'm gonna just try to keep it real. I'm not gonna tell everybody's business. A few times when I'm freestyling, you'll see me cover my mouth, because I'm about to say something I shouldn't say, but... That's how off the top it is, man. I try to write. I try, I'm tired of writing. I've been writing my whole life. I'm tired of it. Uh, so I'm just keep uploading until I can't keep rapping, and then I'll just, you know, caption all my shit, and then I'll fucking go away somewhere and die in pain, you know what I mean? So, I love all the pretty girls.